Moon's clear rival in this presidential race, the People's Party candidate Anter Su, spent this Monday laying out his plans to support young job seekers. The software mogul also touched on preparing the nation for the fourth industrial revolution. For details, let's turn to our Song Ji-san. Meeting with entrepreneurs at the Korea Chamber of Commerce on Monday, the former IT mogul turned a presidential hopeful highlighting the importance of the fourth industrial revolution a whole new kind of technological revolution different from the previous three. Because of this key difference, the more centrist presidential candidate of the two frontrunners leading the race for the top office this year noted that it should be nurtured in a way that's completely different from the first, second and the third industrial revolution. It cannot be the government leading the trend. To best prepare ourselves for the fourth industrial revolution, it needs to be the private sector, the startups, and the enterprises leading the movement, and the government backing them up with various support. The People's Party presidential candidate also held talks with young job seekers where he listened to their most imminent problems, ranging from job search and skyrocketing real estate prices to university tuition rate. Warning the nation will face the worst job market in the next five years, the once entrepreneur himself vowed strong measures to boost the youth employment market. When young people find jobs in smaller firms, the government will subsidize 500,000 won, or roughly $400 every month, so that their salary matches at least 80 percent of that at large corporations. The plan I have in mind now is that about 100,000 young people would receive that benefit for two years. That will be around 500,000 people overall in five years. And vowed to create a presidential secretary post for youth affairs at Cheongwade if he's elected president. To listen on the challenges they face in the field and have their opinions directly reflected in policy making. Song Ji-san, Arirang News.